hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is bisabel umahi and for today's tutorial i will be showing you all how i created this gorgeous smoky eye topped with a silver pigment this eye is so gorgeous and if you would love to learn how i created this look please do keep watching do not forget to subscribe and drop a comment down below i started off this look by applying my inglot 77 gel liner and this gel liner is one of my absolute favorite gel liner of all time this gel liner is waterproof it's easy to apply it's so creamy and this is like the blackest gel liner you will find in the market guys quote me anywhere if you have anything blacker than this any gel liner that is waterproof and blacker than this gel liner please drop that gel liner in the comment section because i have used a lot and i'm yet to find anyone better than the inglot gel liner you can quote me on that so guys i went ahead and applied this all over the eye and after placing it all over the eyelid i went ahead with another brush a stiffer blending brush at first the brush i used in applying the gel liner was an angled brush but right now i'm using the stiffer blending brush and i'm just blending out the edges of this gel liner because if you do not blend it out after applying it to dry off and it will stay put it won't move so i'm blending around the edges because i want it to just blend out properly and i was just diffusing it so that when i apply my eyeshadow it will just be easy to blend right now i'm applying the black eyeshadow from the shop bell eyeshadow palette this is the run of the seven eyeshadow palette and that black eyeshadow is super gorgeous i am just applying it on top of where i applied the gel liner i will not be going for that i'm just going to just be topping it on top of where i applied the gel liner and then for the outer corners of the part i applied gel liner, i'm just kind of taking it outer just a little bit Right now I'm using that two shades of brown from my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm just going to be applying it around the edges of where my black eyeshadow stops not where my black eyeliner stops where my black eyeshadow stops and I'm just going to be using that brown color to diffuse and blend out the black eyeshadow that is around the edges so this is going to create that smoky effect so i'm just going to keep on blending and diffusing it until i feel i have gotten my perfect blend so i keep going over with a very very good blending brush your blending brush is actually very very important when you're actually doing the smoky eyeshadow look if your blending brush is not soft if your blending brush the bristle or the hairs are actually not like human hair like it is not going to give you a good blend can you see the difference between the part i blended out and the parts that i did not blend out you can see that one part looks way better than the other right now i'm going in on the edges of where i applied the brown with the transition color and i'm using the bronzer i actually used on the face that's what i'm just actually using to just blend out the brown and just diffuse it right now i'm going over with my gel liner and i'm lining the bottom of the eyes i do not need to line the top even if i actually would line but you know that is actually if i want or if you want you could do that because you know there's already gel liner but also i am going in with a gel liner to line the smoky eye for this look and that is because i'll be topping this look up with a silver pigment so i would just like to line so that it will look much more defined but if i was not going to be doing that there would be no need for me to line i'll just go ahead and apply my lashes this is a look all on its own and you guys with this smoky eye blended out it just looks so good this is such a great look for a night out for a day this smoky eye works every time and all the time right now i'm just going to be applying the pigment and i'm going in with my nyx pigment primer and i'm just going to be applying that in the middle part of the eyes because that is where i want the pigment to sit in and this pigment is from peaches and cream and this is in the shade disco this is such a beautiful silver shade and i'm just going to be putting it in the middle of the eyes you guys can you see the sparkle oh my goodness this is so pretty i will just be using a stiffer 
eyeshadow placing brush and I'm just placing it in the middle of the eyes and then I'm just going to be trying to blend it just to diffuse it a bit with the black I applied I do not want it to just look like the silver is just sitting on its own so I would be diffusing it a bit so right now that is exactly what I'm doing you guys this eyes on Oma so pretty <laughs> So I'm just taking the brush I used in applying the black and I'm just diffusing where the black stopped and where the silver began. So I'm just blending all over the corners of where I applied the silver so that it's not just sitting on its own. So that it's kind of is blending into the smoky eye a bit. But I'm not scattering it so I'm not going to be putting it in my brush. I'm not going to be blending the middle or anything. Just the corners and very carefully so that I do not shift that pigment taking my time to blend and i'm also taking my time to drag the black a little bit to the outer corner of the eyes because i want it so the smoky eye to also give like a winged effect now right now i'm actually smudging the eyeliner with the black eyeshadow to create a smoky effect under the eye so this will just give the whole look a full smoky effect from top and bottom after doing that, I'm using my concealer and a flat definer brush to clean up all the eyeshadow under and to just give the eye look a winged and a very defined effect. So I'm just cleaning it up and I'm cleaning the wing eyeliner and I'm cleaning up the black eyeshadow that will also be in the sides of the eyes and I'm just giving it a very defined wing this actually does a lot for this makeup look it just gives it a very clean classy look you you can try this tip whenever you do your makeup you'll see that it makes such a huge difference after doing that i'm going to blend it with a blending brush and i'm also going to use this my powder my setting powder to set that part and i'm also going to use the powder i used for the face to also set it so that it's very smooth going over with the Zara for in one mascara and I'm applying that on her lashes I'll also be applying that mascara on her bottom lashes also and after doing the mascara the next thing is lashes so for lashes I'm using this wink lash this is the wink lash in doll I actually love this lashes on Oma it was absolutely so pretty I absolutely loved how this whole eye look came together. I hope you all learned how to create a gorgeous smoky eye, especially one topped with pigment. It could either be silver, gold, whatever shade you feel cool in trying. Also, please do watch out for my next tutorial because I will be showing you all how I created the entire look. And if that's what you would love to learn, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a huge thumbs up and drop a comment down below. Till my next video, bye bye.